and they're still beautiful. Hey besties, it's Becca, and today we are toning my hair. I know, I just dyed my hair like last week. You only live once. <laughs> More like our hair only lives once. <laughs> We are toning our hair and we are toning our extensions. These are already toned, but they're 28 inches. I did a bleach bath on them like two weeks ago. It came out perfect. So I am going in with Willa T18 and toning my hair and the extensions. Let's get into the video right now. Willa T18 is like my standard toner that I always have on deck. It is my go-to toner if I ever want platinum white hair. These extensions are so yellow. Like look at this yellow. It is bright banana yellow and it's the perfect color to tone with Willa. I have lots of hair so I thought maybe two packs of toner will do it. And I was thinking maybe that we could also like do our hair at the same time maybe like you know just throw a little bit of toner in there. Taking my bowl, I want to do the see-through bowl so you guys know how much I have. Willa toner is actually cheaper on Amazon than at Sally Beauty. That's just like, you know, a little tip from your bestie here. Take your bowl, you're going to take your fluid. Fluid. <laughs> you're going to take your Willa T18 and you're gonna pour it all in here. Wear a gas mask because this stuff is very, very, very strong. Willa has a sale right now at Sally's where you buy one, get one half off. So <clears throat> keep that in mind. Then you're gonna take 20 developer. I'm using one and only my favorite developer. <coughs> oh my God, literally, if you know, you know. Take your empty bottle and you're gonna fill it up two times, okay? And you're gonna put that in there. So I have two bottles of Willa. So I'm gonna have to do this two times. Once you have been doing this for so long with using Willa, you kind of just get like the eye visual on how much to put for developer, I find. I did my nails. I'm into the press on nails now. I did have a butterfly on this one, but it broke off. See how cute they are? They're from Amazon and they were like $11 and I'm so into it. I have almost half a tub now. Make sure you brush your extensions so that you can get like all in between like the hair um, because I let these air dry and they're kind of like gone back to like their natural state. So make sure they're brushed and fluffy. I just remembered you need to wet the hair. I always forget this step, but make sure the hair is damp. I noticed like when I was doing it that it was processing really fast. They're looking good. I had to wash them and condition them because I was like, oh my God, are they getting extremely dark? One thing that you have to really worry about with Willa toners is that they can process really fast and it all depends on the hair. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of the extensions and then yeah. We're gonna do my hair right now. We're doing a double whammy in one video because we don't want to waste the T18 and I have nothing else to tone. I wish I had wigs. To be honest, I always dream of having a bunch of wigs. It would be so much fun. It would literally be a sin if I washed all this toner down the drain. Like, no, never. And I'm just gonna put it all over. I know I just dyed my hair, 
I think like a week and a half ago. Make sure your hair is wet. Um, I don't think it really actually kind of matters, to be honest, if you mess up like me and you end up putting the Willa on dry hair because I've done it like both ways and it actually works the same. You just run out of product really fast. That's all. And that's just my experience, not like saying like that's like the way to do it. The way to do it is to have damp hair. But I'm just saying if you do mess up and you're like, oh my god, I forgot to wet my hair, it's fine. My favorite method on toning my hair is got to be semi-permanent hair dye. I just love semi-permanent hair dye and it works so effectively if you mix it right and it's way better for the hair. I also bought a bleach bag at Sally's yesterday because your girl ran out of bleach and I love the one and only bleach but they were all sold out at my Sally's. Also, the hardest thing to do is match your extensions with your hair. Like, that is a challenge. So I'm hoping me matching my extensions works out. On the box, it says to wait 30 minutes, but I'm going to wait probably like 10 minutes. You can already see it's developing really fast. So I'll be back with the final results with my extensions and my hair done hopefully matching pray for me yeah i'm excited i'll be right back we are back with the results and i am blown away i think i did a really good job with trying to blend my hair with the extensions it is super hard let me tell you it is scary and nerve-wracking when you're dealing with your extensions and if you mess up then it's like oh great now I got to go in with bleach and do the whole shabam again this is how the color turned out it is totally like a Barbie color I feel and I love doing this color for summer mind you it is really hot out today in Canada and I'm loving it because spring is here. I also went in with some scissors because I'm always scissor happy when I do dye my hair. And I just took my layers that I had at the top of my hair and I just went in and point cut them. I think that's what it's called, point cut. Sorry, I'm not a professional. But I just like go upwards with my hair and that's how I can kind of blend it so it's not so blunt. Oil is your best friend. This is the Argan oil. I just put it all over my hair and that's how my hair is so shiny. I put it at the roots because when you have like really blonde hair you can't really tell if your hair is um, oily so I put it all over because we do not want frizzy stand-up hairs it helps with blending the hair if you have dry hair like I do it helps to blend it so it's not gonna be poking out and it kind of just stays in there you know what I mean these extensions are super long they're 28 inches they go down to my hips yeah I'm trying to show you but they literally go all the way down I love them they're such a vibe and I really wish that I could commit to tape and extensions but tape and extensions are so goddamn expensive and then you have to have your hair in like braids all the time so that your hair doesn't get all frizzy and you can't put your hair in buns because then you see them it's just like such a hassle tape and extensions and it's hard to commit but I do like to commit sometimes to them once in a while. <laughs> if you are wanting Bellamy extensions, buy them on Valentine's Day. Out of all the events, Valentine's Day is the best event for buying Bellamy extensions. I'm not sponsored. I wish I was. But um, their extensions are flawless. They're thick. They're, they're, they're not thin. And they're thick on the ends and that's what we want because a lot of extensions are thin on the ends and then they're thick at the top and thin on the end and it's just not a vibe it's not cute I tried Amazon clip-in extensions and they were the worst I've ever seen I think I paid like 200 bucks and that's a lot of money and that's why I say just go ahead and buy the Bellamy extensions even though I paid like 600 and 
$80 at the time, which is a lot. I know, I know, I know it's a lot of money. But if you think about it, if you buy expensive extensions, they're gonna last you for years. Those clip-in extensions on Amazon, they last you maybe a year, tops, two years, pushing it, really pushing it, like, ugh. I've had these extensions since 2020, the very beginning, I believe. So it's been a while and they're still beautiful. I'm not a regular clip-in extension kind of girl. Maybe that's why they've lasted a long time, but I do like to take care of them. I put heat protecting spray on them. I put oil on them. I have dyed them. I have bleached them. I have tortured them. K18 sent me products and I just want to state it here that I'm super excited to try some K18. They sent me products like last year and I reviewed them and I remember my hair feeling so silky smooth and soft and just actually like working in my hair. They sent me the Damage Shield shampoo, which is a pH protective shampoo. The conditioner for protective damage shield, which is nice. Then they sent me a detox shampoo, which I really need this because we really need to detox our hair after putting so much color and oils and products in our hair. This kind of like clarifies your hair so it gets all the buildup out of your hair, which is nice to have. Then they sent me the leave-in repair hair mask, which I tried this last year and it was to die for and I ran out of it like after like three months or two months, but this stuff is amazing, okay? I already know about that product being amazing because I tried it last year. And then they sent me the Repair Hair Oil, which I had to open this up because I was like, oh my gosh, this, you can't even get on Amazon. I think maybe they just came out with this, but it is to repair hair, damage control that fights frizz, me, every day. So it's to help frizz and to help soothe and fly aways, improve color, shine, and it's a heat protector. And it also fights damage and helps repair split ends. So that is great to have. I feel like out of all the products, maybe just buy this because that's like everything that you would need. Though this hair mask is amazing and you put this on after you wash your hair. But I actually opened this up already and put it on my hair already because I was just so excited. You apply this to damp towel dried hair before styling and it basically gives that whole shabam after you're done styling. I have naturally kind of like curly hair, wavy, it's complicated, I don't know what it is. But putting oil on my hair after I have a shower is a must for me because my hair just goes crazy. So I need oil all the time in my hair. So this it has like a little push button and it basically picks up all the oil that you need and you just put that in your palm, put it all over and it will do its job. Thank you K18 for sending me products. Love that. I can't believe you even acknowledge my presence in life. Uh, the fact that I, people like me and just even one and only or Affigy all these brands that I've worked for and I just thank you. I'm going to take a month to try the K18 because I want the full honest review on it. And I have already tried the detox, which is amazing. It really does clean the hair. And I've also tried the leave-in conditioner mask. And I already know those are amazing. But the other products, the shampoo and conditioner never tried and the oil I've never tried. So I want to give it a go, try it for a whole month and you guys will hear my thoughts on it. And yeah, I can't wait to show you guys. Give this video a like if you guys think I did a good job on my hair. I think I did okay. Not like professional salon quality, but you know, basic Joe doing your hair at home. This is good. I hope to see you guys in my next freaking video. Bye guys.